everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to be sealing up some dry goods in five gallon buckets with Mylar bags. I'm sure most of you know if you look at five gallon buckets or 25 pound pails of any type of food pretty much online you can do it cheaper yourself at home those buckets are great they're already sealed there's no work involved you just get it and you store it and that's really great and easy and uh, some things are worth it and some are not I have found one of our, my subscribers, one of you, told me about the LDS store. So like wheat berries, you can get these, they're 5.5 pounds each, which is 30, 33 pounds of wheat for about 36 bucks off the LDS store. And they're all packaged in number 10 cans. Um, so you really don't have to do anything. They just show up. So that is a great way to buy the wheat berries. And I have ordered a couple of times from there because really if I buy them online because I cannot get the wheat berries locally, um, when I buy them online, it is substantially more. I paid $40 for a 25 pound bag of the Palooza, which is good wheat, but it's pretty expensive and then I still have to repackage it so I've got to pay for the mylar bag the um, oxygen absorber so the LDS store for the wheat really is a great deal and but you know most everything else you can do cheaper yourself and to do this you don't need that much stuff just a five gallon bucket with a lid um, this is a food grade bucket, but if you're putting a Mylar bag in, it does not have to be food grade. Um, you can use any bucket as long as you have a lid. And then I am going to use, let's see, I've got these, um, I think these are 2000 cc oxygen absorbers. I bought these as a set, um, and I bought their other smaller bags before and uh, they work really great. And then you get these huge uh, five gallon, they fit into your five gallon buckets. So, and in the five gallon buckets, you can fit way more food if you do it with the big Mylar bag, opposed to the small, doing a bunch of small ones, because there's air pockets when you're sticking them all in the buckets. And even in the Mylar bag, you can't just throw them in the pantry. You want them because, you know, if you got a rodent or something like that, it could chew through the bag super easy and you don't want that to happen. So um, buckets, Mylar bags, and oxygen absorbers. I'm not gonna use all of these today and if you leave this package open, your oxygen absorbers will be destroyed. So they won't be any good. So I have just a jar and a little lid with a rubber ring in here so I can close them up and those oxygen absorbers, it'll seal the jar, but they'll be good in here. So when I'm ready to use them, I can just take them out and use them. And scissors to open the bag, uh, Sharpie to mark my containers. And I write right on the plastic lid with the Sharpie. Uh, magic eraser, alcohol is going to take that off when you reuse the bucket. So it works out great. You can put tape on it or a label or whatever, but I found just writing on it is the easiest. Um, uh, the Sharpie works great and it does wash right off. A uh, hair straightener to seal the bags with. And if you're going to be using five gallon buckets to store food, definitely one of these lid openers. They're only about $4 and worth every penny. I struggled with lids for a long time because I was too cheap, didn't want to pay it, but I'm glad I paid it now because it really makes it so much easier. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get so started. This is really super easy. Just stick the bag right in the bucket and I just push it down so it's flat with my hands on the bottom. Just like that nothing fancy really this is so simple and then I've got my straightener plugged in warming up 
and we're just going to fill up our buckets with food. So I've got 25 pounds of the hard white wheat here, and I'm just going to pour that right in. And then, so this is about a 25 pound bag of wheat is going to fill your five gallon bucket. So I just kind of shake it a little bit, get it down in there. And if you want some space, you know, you don't want to bring it right up to the top of the bucket because then you won't be able to close the bag and get it, everything in there. So you want a little bit of space. So a 25 pound bag, most foods fits right in here, really super simple and easy. So I'm just gonna keep filling buckets and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have got in these buckets, I've got 25 pounds of wheat, 25 pounds of oat groats, 25 pounds of sugar, 25 pounds of rice, and 25 pounds of red kidney beans. So on the sugar, we're gonna do this one a little bit different because you don't wanna put oxygen absorbers in here. What I've done is just labeled my buckets, what's in there, when I put it in, and then I know as soon as I look at the bucket what it is. You can also write on the bag if you want to, um, but you, it's up to you. Everybody stores the way they wanna store. So I am just, we're not gonna use oxygen absorbers in here because sugar, when it compacts, it turns into a brick and that's no good. So we're just going to seal this one up right away. So how I do it, and everybody does it differently, is just hair straightener, super easy. And I'm gonna go right at the tippy top of this bag. Um, that way I can, once I open this, this bag can still be resealed again, as long as it doesn't have any holes in it, any punctures, I can do this again, just cut the very top off and there'll still be enough room for me to do another one after. So these bags cost, I think they were 25 or $26, something like that. And with the oxygen absorbers, so it's, a, you know, 250, 260. And I'm gonna leave the end here open just for a moment. I just want to make sure I have this entire thing sealed up good. Nice and sealed. You want to make sure that seal is really good. And then I'm going to leave this little piece open so I can push as much air out as I can. And then I'm just going to kind of fold this in. And I want to leave this so it's nice and flat so I can still seal it. But I want to push all that air out so my there's no air in it. Because if you use the oxygen absorber, it's going to make it like a brick in there. So I just push as much as I can out of there and then seal it up. And we've got a nice sealed bag. And it is ready. And there you have it. It's that hard. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a lid on the sugar. And these do not have to be airtight because the food inside is airtight. If you have airtight buckets, you don't need the Mylar bag. Just you want to clean them out really good with a light bleach solution. And as long as it's food grade and airtight, you can dump the food right in the bucket. So I'm just going to set this to the side and move on to the next one. So this is rice, and so what I'm gonna do this time is the rest of these I'm gonna do this way. And I just pull my bag so it's a nice even seal. And again, I'm gonna start sealing, but I'm gonna leave an end open. And I'm gonna do all the bags and leave this end open. So there's enough room to get my hand down in there so I can drop in my oxygen absorber and then seal it up really quickly. So that way you only have 15 minutes 
they say when you open these. You want to move really quickly with them. So I'm just going to seal up the tops of all my bags. Just nice and this is so simple to do. And once I get all of these bags sealed, except for this end piece, I'll bring you back. So all my bags are sealed except for the little ends, so I can stick these oxygen absorbers in. And just to move quickly this way, and I don't have to worry about it, um, I just stick them in. I'm going to stick the rest in a jar and uh, get that closed up and then just zip them closed really fast. And, uh, and no problem if you are doing um, like 10 buckets at a time or you have a pack of 10. It's pretty easy to do this in under 15 minutes. You can pretty close to do it in under five minutes, really. And then I'm just gonna take these extras and pop them right in the jar. I guess I should have used a bigger jar. I'm gonna need two jars. But that's okay. All right. Put those in there. Two jars, we'll just seal them up really quick, and these are gonna suck okay, it so down. Those and all cool. set, and we're just gonna push the air down in these bags and get as much air out as we can. And again, just seal up that last little piece. Just get that sealed, and then the oxygen absorber will take care of the rest. Just like so. And this is super easy to do. All right, so you want to be careful when you're sealing your bag. This gets super hot, so if you grab it after you heat it up, it's hot. <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, that really is all the your lids on and they're ready to hit long-term food storage and you know make sure your foods are safe to be stored long term and we these items will last you know 30 years or so they're gonna last longer than I do I'm sure and um, so these are ready to go and they can go right into food storage you don't have to do anything the bags if you only seal that top I used to seal way down low, but I found that if I only seal the top, there's still plenty of room that I can use it again in the same five gallon bucket, which reduces my cost. I don't have to keep buying stuff. I can just keep reusing it, which I like. And just the oxygen absorbers are around a dollar a piece, maybe a little under, depending on the size pack you buy, which is great. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.